Welcome on a big football night here at Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Everton versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, keeping the opposition at bay is something Wolves have done with relish this season. The record, Stuart, is magnificent. Well, they don't concede too many goals, do they? And that comes down to their desire to stop the opposition playing. Whether it's pressing the ball high up the field or making them play predictably, they really are a good defensive team. Good game. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Alan starts alongside Donny van der Beek in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. The initial 11 for Wolves. Joao Moutinho starts alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. Neto and the advantage accrues to the attacking side he's going forward well here and the flag has gone up offside well, rather than stop play immediately the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card Physically strong and secure on the ball. But he could run onto it here. Cuts it back. Can they slot it home? Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Gives it a go. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Over it comes, and routine for the keeper in the end, the cross far too close to him. So for Wolves, certainly a difficult fixture last time out, and a draw against Manchester City. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they'd be... And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. And a strong tackle. Cody. Pedro Neto. It's a neat move. Fractionally offside. Robert Lewin might be a chance here. Nicely saved. 
Axel Witzel. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Room to roam on the wing for Wolves. A decisive clearance it was. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Back underway, 1-0 it is. And a change to the scoreline in the Palace game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener here with 30 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And he's clear as lines. Deli Alley. And it all counts for naught. Can he finish? And the keeper is showing tremendous command. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. So the corner played into the box. And a time for calm on the ball. Ericsson. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Must score! And touched onto the frame of the goal. And getting close to the half-time interval, it's Wolves with the advantage. Interested, Stuart, to find out what you think of the first-half performance. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. So two minutes to be added on at the end. It is a decent looking attack here. And there goes the half-time whistle. A pleasing scoreboard from a Wolves point of view. They hold the advantage. Well, we discussed it before the game. They are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. And underway again, so advantage Wolves after the first 45, but still plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Excellent challenge. Mehmet Zeki Celik. And teammates to play it to. Well, Everton perhaps with an opportunity to equalise here. Who's going to get on the end of it? 
No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Everton taking on Liverpool. Townsend. It's with Alan. Well, possibilities in the centre. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Might really be able to trouble them here. And Moutinho with it. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. So making the substitution now. Number 25, Christian Eriksen, to be replaced by number 24, Abreki Ezin. Well, they're going for the short one. Roman Saiz. Really good challenge. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Everton. And it's played into the centre. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Axel Witzel. Well, let's send it over to Alex, because I understand there's been a goal at Selhurst Park. It's a goal from Manchester City. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're pulled ahead by two with 20 minutes left. on the clock thank you Alex now can they counter clinically well, keeping it on the ground slightly off target however coming off the pitch number 14 Andros Townsend to be replaced by number 34 Anwar El Ghazi can the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit please return to your vehicle immediately thank you Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Well, he keeps going, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end.
Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ten minutes to go then. And Alex has news for us, a goal at the Amex. It's a goal for Brighton. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 80 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, a good tackle. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, as we approach full time, we have to say, playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Substitution time it is here. El Ghazi. And Everton exploiting the space on the flank. Calvert Lewin. Deli Alley. Still possibilities. Well, no damage done. Pedro Neto. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Oh, he saved it well. And the referee blows the whistle, and it is officially a win for Wolves. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.